Hey planner and budget friends, I am back with a weekly check-in type thing. I'm more doing a transaction log um, with my weekly. I don't know. I don't know how to really do it. I'm doing it my way. I know that there is so, there's so many ways to do these videos. Oh, but maybe let's start this. Hi, I am Plan with Kay. I'm so excited that you are here today. And if you are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button. That's first and foremost. Um, but yeah, so there's so many ways guys to do your budget. And one thing that I learned from a lot, and I'm sorry if you guys hear my puppy barking outside. My kids are playing outside. I've kicked them out of the house um, off of the video game. So the puppy is having a blast with them outside. But one thing that I definitely um, taught myself last month was that we need to be doing a transaction log slash checking in each week. Um, we went way over budget. I will link that video right here for you guys if you want to go see that. Um, but ooh, whoops. Yep, it happened. We still saved. So I'm happy about that. But I still feel like in this first couple 12 days, I'm at June 12th right now, um, that we definitely have went over budget some. And yeah, it just it happens. So anyways, okay. Um, so we definitely wanted, uh, I, I knew that this month we definitely needed to be checking in on our budget more prevalently and making sure that each, um, week we were just watching our P's and Q's a little bit more. And if we got out of control one week, then we could reel it back in quicker than figuring it out by the end of the month. So what I am going to do with this is just check in uh, for the first week. Uh, first and second week, I'm going to catch up. Yeah, first and second week, actually. Um, I'm just going to catch up and we'll go through everything. Um, and I believe that I will put like remain. Uh, we might put remaining. I'm not sure. Um, but I do want some totals. So here we go. As you can see, spending is already a bit out of control. So I budgeted only a hundred dollars for spending, and it's just not going to be. Oh, yeah. We also had to get our son um, baseball equipment, new baseball equipment. We weren't with COVID. Um, they are not able to. Um, See, and I might be, that should have been probably taken out of our baseball sinking funds, but we really need our baseball sinking funds for our hotel accommodations. So we're just going to have to take it probably out of our savings um, in general. But um, with COVID, they're not allowed to share equipment anymore. So my youngest had to get some catching gear and my oldest needed um, some a thing for his shoulder. Um, so, yep. I'm actually going to keep a count of alcohol <laughs> spending, <laughs> honestly, um, to show my husband that he's spending too much money in his liquor. But... But this is why I am doing this because this shows me automatically in the first 12 days of this month, we are behind. Um, so we have to lock it down for the rest of the month, um, which I know we can do. And I honestly believe that if 
I wouldn't have done if I wouldn't do this every so often um, that we, I would have months like May all the time. May, I never did this. I haven't been doing this. Um, so I wouldn't have no idea where I was at. And honestly, um, from here on out again for my husband, these eating out trips that he's been doing, um, is going, I'm going to put him probably back on his allowance type deal. So way back in, um, like February, I believe when we, when I first started all of this, let's see here. Yep. So February, we were able, we, I did an allowance of $200 for, um, hundred for each of us. Um, so that was $25 a week that he could spend and I wouldn't, I didn't care where it went. It was budgeted in. Um, and so that I wouldn't be getting mad at these little measly eating out trips that are eating into our family budget eating out trips. <laughs> so, um, that's what will happen next month. So we'll be getting back to regular life and back to what I believe we need to do. Um, actually two of these were. So here we are on June 12th today. Okay, we had a slight injury outside, but we're all back to being good. Okay, so what? I am trying to do here is now I'm going to add all of this up to see what the remaining is and do it that way. I think what I'm going to do is use this. I should have used it down right here um, to kind of figure that out. Um, it's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll do week one and week two on the back of this underneath of each other. Um, I was silly. I'm just not doing the weekly check-in. Well, you know what? We'll do this. So on this sheet, we'll do the weekly check-in on the back. I know I'm not using the stickers the way everybody else uses them. It's okay. You don't have to use your stickers exactly how everybody else does. Use, oh goodness. Use them how they work for you. And that is the end of that. So we have gas. Spending, eating out These are like three big things that I will be tracking. Yep. So with gas, this last month we did a 14, ooh, 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 ooh. 14, 23 and that's it on that actually oh i said we would do alcohol too but so far he's only had one alcohol pickup um so gas we have 14.23 we've budgeted 200 so oops 200 minus 14.23 is 185 spending i've only budgeted 100 dollars. oops and eating out for this month i've only budgeted a hundred dollars i think we blew this budget at least already <laughs> so over here we see 237 oh my goodness okay so this phone is broke and it doesn't okay 237 839 264 591 and I think that's our problem we feel like we're only doing like small little things except for this one um which this was an unexpected expense, but, um, and so we're fine. We're fine. It's no big deal. And they are adding up like crazy. <laughs> I'm just going to put alcohol in there. I just, um, yeah, see, we're already past it in the first week. Well, 
minus that $77 that we weren't expect. I was not expecting. Um, we'd still, I think, have a little bit of money left over. Oh, 22. out we've spent 155.40 oh no 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 whoops 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 that's spending gas is 36.52 52 plus 2107. We spent 57.59 so far, guys. And that should be it for the rest of the month because now I'm taking out of what was left over from our gas cash envelopes. So I'm now digging into those instead of into this. So honestly, that should be it. And maybe we can put a little of the gas budget into the spending budget um eating out we did two yes go 37 57 plus 7 24 44 81 okay so Ninety-five, thirteen minus forty-four, eighty-one. Okay, so I only expect us to go out to eat one more time this month, and that will be plenty for that eat-out trip for the four of us. Even I am way over budget here, so I am negative. Um, let's do it this way: one fifty. 22 plus 155. We almost spent the same amount of money. Um, 305 minus, I'm over 205. 62. And with a $77 helmet and a $30 phone, that's $100. So I'm like over 100 of what I expected. And I guess we have one. 185.77 remaining minus the 57.59. Oops. So 128.18. And I'll probably pull out that money and put it into our cash envelope. And we will now be using our cash envelope at this point. So this is what I kind of have for at this point. I will be coming back for week three and week four when we close out. Um, and hopefully I can get that spending budget back under control. Hopefully that's as far as we go <laughs> out. Um, I will really be trying to make it a point to do that. So uh, we got to get these spending habits under control here. So thank you guys so much for being here. Um, cause that, oh yeah, because that's like our $200 left over from everything else but if i have a little bit left over from gas maybe i'll put it in there so thank you guys so much for being here definitely hit that like button and don't forget to just um to ooh, and don't forget to subscribe see you guys in the next one